Some Prince William County leaders are calling for change to combat violent crime in the area. This comes after a 17 year old was killed in the parking lot of a Woodbridge community pool two weekends ago. During an event today, DC News Now's Haley Mylon asked county supervisors what can be done to limit violent crime in that area. Supervisors Yesley Vega and Janine Lawson both called on voters to rebuke progressive prosecution come this fall's election, but they also said that community policing could tamp down on some of the violence that we're seeing and make communities safer. Just a few weeks ago, we had National Night Out. It was absolutely heartbreaking when we hit one of our uh, second to last stops and we saw small children literally running from our officers in uniform because they're afraid because they think that we the police are bad and I quote out to get them today Lawson and Vega calling for more police department funding police community relations and stiffer penalties for criminals year to date the county seen 15 homicides the two backed Commonwealth's attorney candidate Matt Lowry and said the current prosecutor Amy Ashworth policies are friendly towards criminals, pointing to the August 12th killing of a 17 year old in Woodbridge. Jordan Sickles, one of the men charged in the incident, pleaded guilty to an unrelated misdemeanor charge that was reduced from a felony back in June. In a statement to DC News Now, Ashworth said there was insufficient evidence to proceed with the more severe charge. The police department says violent crime is up about 8% this calendar year and robberies comprise most of the incidents. And police say in all of the killings but one, the victim and the perpetrator knew each other. Vega is a former police officer herself and she says the county must turn towards community policing. With our police department and we start to, you know, roll up, roll up our sleeves, get in there with us, go into the communities, walk with an officer. And on Monday, the police department is holding a community watch event to inform folks on how they can communicate concerns with the police department and make their neighborhoods safer. I've got that information over on DCNewsNow.com. Just keyword search Prince William crime in Prince William County. Haley Mylon, DC News Now.